Hello everyone and welcome to Solving Linear Inequalities. We'll look at solving linear inequalities and graphing them. Okay, let's, so let's take a look at this first one. Uh, solving linear inequalities uh, has the same steps as solving equations. Now there is one twist and that is if you divide or multiply both sides by a negative number then you must flip the inequality symbol. Again if you divide or multiply both sides by a negative number then you must flip the inequality symbol. Okay so starting with this one we're going to use our distributive property to get rid of the parentheses. So we'll get 3 times x is 3x, three, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Then we're going to add 6 to both sides to get all of our constants on the right hand side. 3x, the negative 6 and positive 6 cancels out. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2. Then we will divide both sides by 3 to make this into 1x. So x is less than 2 thirds. Now when you're graphing, we're going to use parentheses and brackets uh, on the numbers from which we are graphing. Uh, we'll use parentheses if there is no or equal to symbol underneath the inequality. So since this just says x is less than two thirds, then we'll go to two thirds. It's a little bit, but it's between zero and one, so it's right around in here. X is less than two thirds, so all the numbers that are less than two thirds will be to the left of two thirds of this point. So I'm going to have a parenthesis here facing the left. And then I'll shade to the left to represent all the numbers that are less than two-thirds. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at another one. Three times x is greater than or equal to negative 21. Three times x is greater than or equal to negative 21. So again, we want 1x. We already have our variables on the left-hand side constants on the right hand side. Let's divide both sides by positive 3. And that gives us x is greater than or equal to negative 7. Now in this particular problem for our graph, since we have the or equal to bar, we will use a bracket on negative 7. And we want to display all of the numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 7. So I will go to negative 7 on my number line bracket there and facing the right since we want to show all the numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 7 and we will shade to the right because all of those numbers would uh, fit this inequality. Okay, let's try another one. All right, negative 5x plus 2 equal, is less than negative 13. Alright, so let's get the constants together negative 5 times x, the 2's cancel, 2 and negative 2 cancels, negative 13, spin 2 more, gives us negative 15. Alright, to finish it off, we need to divide both sides by negative 5. Now this time I'm dividing both sides by a negative number, by negative 5. So my rules tell me that if I divide both sides by a negative number, then I must flip the inequality symbol around. So this is going to go from less than to greater than. And negative divided by negative would make that positive 3. Sorry about that. So we have x is greater than 3. No equal to bar, so I will have a parentheses on 3 and to show all the numbers greater than 3 then it needs to be facing to the right of 3. So 3 is here, parentheses, all the numbers that are bigger than 3 will be to the right of 3. So we shade to the right. Okay, let's work through one more. 5x plus 8 is greater than or equal to 8x minus 7. Alright, let's get our variable terms on the left hand side so we're going to move this positive 8x by subtracting 8x from each side that will give us negative 3x on the left hand side plus 8 is greater than or equal to negative 7 
All right, now we want to get all of our constants moved to the right hand side from that variables. It's from the variable term, so we're going to subtract 8, subtract 8, negative 7 minus 8. Going deeper into the negatives puts us at negative 15. Last step, we want to undo negative 3 times x by dividing by negative 3. Again, I divided both sides by a negative number. Therefore, I must flip my inequality symbol around. And that will become x is less than or equal to positive 5. All right, I have the or equal to symbol under, underneath my inequality. Therefore, I will have a bracket. I want to show all the numbers that are less than. So I need my bracket facing the left on 5. And I will shade to the left. Okay, that concludes solving and graphing linear inequalities. Hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks.